This is MMA Outbreak. All right, let's get things started with today's Odds Breaker segment. Let me introduce both of our guests. First, he's a sports journalist and also the lead MMA writer for the Las Vegas Sun, Case Kiefer. Case, welcome back to the show. Thanks a lot, Nick. Always enjoy coming on the show. Also joining us today, making his MMA Odds Breaker debut, is the fight scientist, Reed Kuhn from Fightnomics.com. Reed, welcome to the show. Thanks a lot, guys. Thanks for having me. All right, both of you guys are familiar with how the show works, but for those out there that do not, our sponsored sportsbook, BetDSI.eu, has donated a 5K bankroll to both guys. Now, I've selected four fights today. They get to wager $500 either on the favorite or the underdog. Now, the bonus fight does not apply with a bankroll. We're going to get started here with the first fight. It comes to us from Strikeforce, November 3rd, 2012. It's a title fight between Luke Rockhold and Lorenz Larkin. Let's get going with Case first. Case. I'm going to open up the champ as a steep favorite. Rockhold is going to come in minus 450. The comeback on Larkin is going to be plus 300. Now, Larkin is a worthy opponent. Are the odds a little off here? I don't think the odds are off. I think they're just right about on. Um, you know, I like Lorenz Larkin a lot. The guy's an entertaining fighter, um, an engaging personality. But uh, I just wish he could have a little more time before he's already thrown into a middleweight title fight. Uh, I wish he could fight once or twice more. I mean, he just dropped to the weight. I know that's not really a luxury they have in strike force right now. Uh, but I look at his biggest advantages in most of his fights, especially at 185, are his size and his athleticism. Luke Rockhold, as we all know, is just gigantic for the middleweight class. He's not really going to have a size advantage in this fight. And Luke Rockhold also athletically is, is one of the best guys you're going to see at that weight in MMA. So I, I feel like he really negates some of uh, Larkin's uh, possible advantages here. And uh, I would probably have to lay it, even though it's such a big price. I'm pretty confident Luke Rockhold uh, is going to win in Oklahoma City. Okay, great stuff from Case Keeper there. He is going to take Luke Rockhold minus 450. It's going to be 2250 to win $500. Now let's throw it over to Reed. Reed, do you agree with Case on this fight? Well, I agree with him on a lot of points, actually. Um, Rockhold is very impressive. He's been in the cage with two really well-rounded grapplers, Tim Kennedy and Jacare, and he's survived that for five rounds. Uh, so it's impressive, but what does not impress me is the accuracy of his striking. He throws a lot of high-volume combinations. Statistically, he outstrikes his opponents more than two to one. Uh, and so really there's an opening here for someone who can counter strike with him. And I think Lorenz Larkin might be that guy. So uh, the, the price is definitely in one direction, but uh, it was enough for me to bite and, and I'm willing to take a flyer on Larkin here. Okay, so Reed is going to go with the plus 300 underdog money on Larkin. It's going to be 500 to win $1,500. Now, hopefully it's a competitive fight. It is a steep price. Larkin's a very talented fighter and Rockhold's very talented as well. We'll see how it all unfolds on November 3rd. Well, that's it for another episode of MMA Odds Breakers. I want to thank our guests, Case Kiefer and Reed Kuhn. Great information during the Odds Breaker segment. And you can look for the odds that Nick is breaking right here to start popping up at the sport books throughout the coming week. Also, make sure you check out our website, MMAOddsBreaker.com, and follow us on Twitter at MMA Oddsbreaker. For Miguel Literati, I'm Nick Kalika saying until next time, enjoy the fights.